speaking of good lines, the Lannisters send their regards. <laughs> Darwin kill. Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors. Today we're going to be talking about the Cold Steel Short Assegai and my walkabout archery setup, both for dangerous game animal defense and, of course, the ever-present threat of the zombie apocalypse. You can look at this a couple of different ways. You can look at this as a zombie survival quiver, but I call it my walkabout quiver. The reason that I came up with this setup is because my friend, No BS Survival of Australia, sadly does not have any firearms rights according to his commonwealth. And so defense against feral dogs, wild hogs, and dingoes while he is out bush is pretty limited. And so that's why I've come up with this setup that I call the walkabout. The quiver that I'm using is a Palmer Bow Works Bowmate Elite. Excellent quiver for traditional archery because it is a seal top quiver, which means that it will keep your feathers dry. As you can see, it has an arrow shoot down at the bottom. It has enough storage space for anything that you feasibly need to be taking into the bush with you outside of perhaps a backpack in addition to this but I have a full review on the Bowmate Elite excellent excellent quiver can't recommend it highly enough either for traditional archery or for a compound shooter but as you can see this quiver has molly where you can move the shoulder strap up and down well, I have made use of this molly to actually strap a short assegai onto the side of my quiver. And at the bottom, just for added retention, I have created a thumb break that holds the spear shaft securely to the quiver itself. Now of course there is the spear sheath that also has a break but Securex sheaths are very high in their retention properties and so I basically bush tested this all day today at a 3E range over some pretty rough country and did not have a problem even without the bottom retention system or without the actual top retention system and this setup is very quick into deployment <laughs> what I tell you <laughs> Yourself out of that one. Yeah, I probably did. I think that arrow is bent. It is now. That's what I meant. <laughs> Damn, did you see that land? That land after you pulled that spear out. They're both gone. <laughs> as funny as this looks on a 3D range, it actually worked out pretty well because I did make a very bad shot on a 3D mountain lion. As you can see, I have a full fighting grip on this short assegai. I can dump my bow and I can get to work. The assegai worked for the Zulu tribesmen for many, many years. And if it worked then, 
it works now. Putting it back is as simple as taking it out. And there you have it. Now let's look at the zombie implications of this quiver. Because why not? Right in the head. The likelihood of you ever being attacked by a pack of Canadian timber wolves is very low. We are very much not within their food chain. However, if you ever find yourself with your position at the top of your food chain challenge, you need to meet that challenge with enough aggression to actually dignify your existence as a human. The retention on this sheath is very high, and so the draw is not very easy, nor would you want it to be easy so that this thing does not fall out. This can hack, this can stab, this can chop. The cold steel short assegai is much more of a stabbing and slashing spear and hacking spear than it is actually a throwing spear. While this can be thrown in a pinch, this is much more of a tribal sword, for lack of better words. So, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching, and I hope that this video is helpful to you. Should you be looking for an alternative defense to firearms if you're out walking with a bow and arrow or in case you're building a zombie apocalypse survival kit as always god bless all my sportsmen of america join the NRA to protect our rights please check out my friends over at legallyconcealed.org thank you very much those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military and thanks for watching Tex Grebner Outdoors